the one thing about BRICS countries is that is that the BRICS country the the BRICS plan is a powerful plan, right? It's a it's a great idea. I, I it's it should have been done a long time ago. It's now gaining momentum because the United States is getting a lot of ill will, a lot of negative uh, negative will, or I don't want to say negative publicity, but a lot of people are mad at the U.S. all around the world because they're they use their money to achieve political gains, right? They use their they're constantly engaging in economic warfare with other countries. This goes all the way back to when the missionaries and the colonizers would come in and judge Africans based on whatever religion they were doing or whatever. So effectively. The goal to de-dollarize, uh, to remove the dollar as the dominant currency in in global transactions, it's it, it could ha- it could actually have an effect sooner than we expect. But this is a long term play. This is a long term play. Let me tell you why it's a long term play. Right now, BRICS, sure, BRICS has an impact right now. BRICS, you know, it, it is making a difference now. Uh, but I don't think your dollar is going to go to nothing overnight. Just give it about forty years. Give it to, do you know that by the year, two BRICS, BRICS countries and more have joined. I'm going to mention the, the countries that have joined recently, why it's a big deal. Um, by 2075, China and India will have the two biggest economies on the entire planet. 2075, China and India will be the top two economies on the earth. Those are BRICS countries, y'all. Those are BRICS nations. Uh, in fact, right now, I wrote down some data. I'm going to share it with you. Uh, BRICS countries right now, before the recent expansion, uh, represented 40% of the global population, 40% of the global population, one third of the global GDP. 